It's James here, and it is currently Tuesday, December 6th. I hope everyone had a good weekend. Today we'll be taking a quick look at the ocean conditions from the west coast of Florida, along Alabama and Louisiana, and into the east coast of Texas from the past weekend. Overall, we continue to observe a northward to northeastward push of the loop current to the south of the Florida Panhandle, uh, as you can see here. This northern edge has pushed slightly further east over the past several days as some frontal eddies continue to move northwards along the western frontal boundary. Uh, and one of these eddies is located in this general area moving northwards. Off Florida's coast, we have observed a filament of water, uh, warmer bluer water, uh, working northwards over 50 to 100 fathoms offshore of uh, the west coast of Florida, uh, reaching towards the western uh, area off of Tampa Bay, just south of the Florida middle grounds. Uh, as the loop current enters the Florida Straits, we continue to observe the Florida Strait gyre uh, offshore of, to the southwest of Key West and the Marquesas. Uh, heading back to the loop current, we continue to observe several loop current eddy filaments working their way westward, as you can see here, uh, towards the area offshore of the Mississippi River Delta and south of Mobile Bay, creating some opportunities inshore the DeSoto Canyon and just east of the Mississippi Canyon. Swapping over to our ocean color imagery, you can see some of these opportunities a little bit better as well, where some of this bluer water as push closer to shore. As you can see off of the Mississippi River Delta, some of this bluer water in some counterclockwise rotation uh, right off the ledge here, and then inshore of the DeSoto Canyon all the way up into this area off of uh, Cape Sand Blast. As you can see, some of this bluer loop current water uh, just south of the DeSoto Canyon and some of this water moving westward. That being said, uh, we continue to observe the larger clockwise rotating loop current eddy right here, as well as the counterclockwise rotating eddy on the northwestern uh, edges of the loop current. These two eddy formations uh, combine to continue pulling cooler uh, blue-green blended blue water offshore of the Mississippi Canyon south of Louisiana. However, the presence of another loop uh, counterclockwise rotating eddy formation north of the larger loop current eddy uh, located right here is helping to pull some of the warmer uh, bluer water westward uh, from the Mississippi Canyon area, west of the Mississippi Canyon area, uh, into the flower gardens area, and then continuing on mixing in with uh, some cooler water uh, going towards the area off of Aransas. And this is better seen in our chlorophyll imagery here. You can see some of this water pushing off of Aransas. Speaking of Texas, we also see a clockwise rotation off of uh, South Padre Island and the Texas-Mexico border where some of this bluer water is being pulled uh, westward from the loop current eddy water uh, closer to shore here. Remember, these ocean conditions are always changing, so be sure to head to ROFS.com or call our office at 321-723-5759 to order updated analyses for each of these areas. Also, now that we are entering fall and winter, our office hours have changed uh, to 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock on Monday through Friday. I hope everyone has a good week.